In this program, we're going to use a couple of new techniques. We're going to set the camera with it having a vehicle. In this case, I'm using a centaur. And then I've set up a scene. And we're going to check our threshold for the centaur when he gets within distance of certain objects. When that happens, we will call procedures to run. You'll see that I have my centaur here. The camera is set with over his shoulder, so we're looking over his head, and we can use him as a vehicle. When we move him, since he's our vehicle, the camera will move with him. I have a tree, I have a spider, I have a waterfall with a fish in it. Let's look at the code. The first thing that I did was I selected the camera, and I went into the properties, and I set the vehicle for the camera, in run, the vehicle is this centaur. So what I did was I dragged this here and then selected the centaur. So it will now move. If I move the centaur, the camera moves with it. I then added key listeners for the centaur because he is what we're moving. So I selected add key listener, brought it in here, and then I had to add an if statement for each option and they're nested inside of each other. So if the key is up, he'll move forward 0.5 and then we call our check distance procedure that I wrote. And you'll notice each time we press any key, we call check distance. And as you remember, to get to those, to drag them in there, we'd go to the scene because I put all of my procedures on the scene and I wrote three custom procedures check dis distance, spider move, and flying fish. So the check distance is going to go directly in order and check to see if my centaur is within a threshold. And I'm using a threshold of 25, which is triggers us, but I don't have to get really close to the artsy tree. And then I'm going to call the other procedures that I wrote, spider move or flying fish. Spider move will drop my spider down and towards me at the same time. He will get out of distance quickly that way. Flying fish will move up, spin, and move back down. And he'll keep doing that as long as we're in distance. Let's take a look at the program. I'm using my arrow keys to move. I'm going to start by moving towards the tree. And you'll notice that the spider basically seems to attack me. I could have added a sound to that to make it more fun but it's working okay. Now I'm getting closer to my waterfall and in the waterfall I've placed a flying fish. When I get near this waterfall, and bear in mind that it's checking from center of the waterfall to center of the centaur, which means that I have to get pretty close because the fish is in the middle, so I want to get within 25 units. So I'm going to keep closer until I trigger him. I may actually have to step into the water. There we go. Now as long as I sit here and don't do anything, he's not going to trigger again. But if I move forward again, that makes it check distance again. If I move back one, he'll run again, back again. And this is how I can tell and now I'm out of distance. So that gives you a feel of how far 25 units are. For your homework, I want you to have five procedures that are triggered by whatever you, you, you're using for your vehicle, that when you get, approach something, five different things happen. So this is basically the same program that you're going to write. Again, when you create your procedure under my scene, and I put all of my custom procedures under my scene because that organizes my program well, you'll declare your procedures. That brings the procedures up here. Run is the default procedure that will run automatically. This is the one that where you set your vehicle and have to have your key listener. Then you'll have a procedure for each thing that's going to happen and check distance, which will check thresholds and trigger the events. Make sure to do both a flowchart and the program and hand them in on Angel.